So that's the area I've marked out. Inside this is where we're going to put the hairs. So it's going to give him hair in the normal skin where he doesn't have the follicle. We're also going to transplant hair follicles into the scar. So I've already given him a block. We've given an injection at the base. Now we're giving the uh, tumescin before you can make the slits. This is needed to make the lip tense and the splitting and insertion technique is also going to be different. You will see that in a while. So you can't have it more densely packed because you, these follicles that we are uh, transplanting also need vascularity. And also with the lip, what happens is if you put it very close, when you put the next one, the earlier follicle tends to pop out. So it's a thin line between thick density to what you would want to actually take. Um, we do this for our patients and then if they need a few more follicles you can always do this later because it's a very very simple super quick daycare procedure i won't call it simple but it's um, it's a daycare one So we've prepared a very small area for this patient because we just need less than 200 follicles for the moustache. Uh, using a diabetic syringe so that the pain is going to be minimal for the patient. We've already given a block. So this step is similar, same is being done as what's being done when you do the head transplantation on the forehead or the vertex. The implantation technique and the preparation of the slit differs though. You can see how the hair follicles is popping out. As you can see, these follicles are thicker. Once they go on the lip, uh, after a few months, we see them getting thinner. Initially, they also in multiple groups. Uh, we need the density as well to get a thick moustache and also to cover the scar.
so that's done we've got close to 200 follicles now in this area where he didn't have hair on the mustache region and also we've transplanted the scar region so they're going to be careful in the immediate hours in the first few days we send them over with a spray of saline and we advise them to use it every hour this is for the first three days they come back for review on day three and then the next set of instructions follow again it takes about six to nine months before you can have full results or maximum results visible